Now they're all chasing the great Demetrius Johnson, but this man believes when all's said and done, he might go down as the greatest flyweight champion of all time. Tonight, a chance to join that elite class and realize his first UFC belt. Yeah, he's trying to become the champion of the division and has had some really good champions from Demetrius Johnson to Davidson Figueredo to Brandon Moreno. The list of fantastic champions at flyweight is not very long, but he feels and he can stand the top all those guys by the time his career is done. But it all starts tonight. You got to win in your first opportunity. And he did tell us this week he felt like the champion at times was ducking him, but the win streak became so long that there was no denying this title shot. Now we see what he can do with it. UFC flyweight champion Alessandre Pantoja. Pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age. He is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport. And in advance of his first title defense at our fighter meeting, he said, now the focus is getting my pound for pound due. I know I'm the best flyweight in the world. I'm about to prove that again tonight. I want to show the masses that I can be the pound for pound king, and he might just be that guy. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from GMS Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Our tail the tape for this flyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the UFC Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Steve Ashkobar And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Alejandro the Cannibal. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Do it. All right, here's the Brazilian flyweight contender, Alessandre Pantoja. Somewhat remarkable, given all that he has accomplished, that he hasn't fought for the UFC title just yet. But he believes if he can get a win, and ideally a finish, in what is a very challenging matchup here tonight, he will make himself undeniable as far as the UFC is concerned. First order of business, this significant challenge here tonight. Right hook to the head, block. Effective jab there by Pantoja. Oh, misses with the jab. Landed that left hook. Oh, nice punch there by Ursa. Frantic pace early on to this one. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Hosek gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, the one thing about throwing jabs is that when you throw a jab, you kind of set your, your, your lead leg because you're trying to extend on the jab. If a person has good timing on leg kicks, they will land almost every time. So you got to be careful. Great job setting up that high kick. 
Pretty strong jab there by Steve Ursett. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. And that left hook landed on the button. Misses with the left hook. Oh, collar tie. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Pantoja gets hit by that leg kick. Single. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Pantoja's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He cannot recognize him. He's high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, big left hand. Oh, that right hand. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Hip over when he throws that kick. Pantoja gets another takedown. Largely, he's a striker, but the wrestling is there tonight. Push it in, let's go. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Pantoja's right back to the full mount. Beautiful transition. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Submission defense wins this transition. Final seconds of round one. Ah. That horn sounds means ah. we have reached stop, the end stop. of round one. Stop. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Well, in that previous round, it didn't look like we would get to this next round, DC, but here we are. He had him hurt very, very badly, but he could not find that last shot to shut the lights out, to close the door. He couldn't close the door, but that's a testament to his opponent being able to recover when he got hurt real bad. Oh, beautiful jab there by Erson. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch there by Pantoja. Beautiful job getting those hands up. 
Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he has to that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think he's going low. He's right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Landing massive shots. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan and it's working. Outstanding kick there by Pantoja. Just over three minutes to go. Ursay gets stung by that leg kick. Single collar tie now. And he continues to work the body here. Back and forth we go. Pantoja going for the takedown here, but he misses. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. What a kick that one landed. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Pantoja swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Nice jab there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Pantoja's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Pantoja's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Under a minute now to go. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Attempting a choke now. That guillotine is tight. You got it, Kimmy, he's out. Pantoja's in half guard. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Now he's going full mount. Going for the arm here. Oh, he's got the armbar deep. Holding the position. Fighting for it. He wants it bad. He might get a finish here. He's work. I'm standing up. Work. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I got to stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Big shots raining down. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Pantoja's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time. Oh, he lands the fly knee. Both guys are here to land there. Effective strike there by Steve Urson. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not gonna move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Hammer fist here by Pantosia. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position. Pantosia's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, now it's getting tight. Oh, he got out. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Pantoja's not making things easier on the opponent right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that strike certainly found the target. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was gonna stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. He's gotta start throwing now. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. We got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut, and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Urseg's in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Yep, that gives his feet. There as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping through the third side. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's oh, chin held up. 
his opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready fight? Ready. Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, lead hook by Steve Ursa. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Loaded up on that one and landed. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. Beautiful shot to the leg. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Oh, he blocked that punch. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Ursay. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's advancing. Still pursuing the submission here. He is like a dog on a bone. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Pantosia. Big ground and pound. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit arm right. Holding the position, still working for a submission. finish. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. And now he's got the back. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, Sean. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Just missed with the left there. Under a minute to go. Pretty good jab there by Steve Ursett.
It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Yes, the single collar tie now. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Ersin. 15 seconds remain in the round. Ursex cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Right. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fifth and final round. Lands a nice leg kick. Another nice combination to the head. Lands a nasty body kick. Oh, that's how it's done. He blocks the shot and then delivers the straight counter. Nice jab by Ersin. Leg kick. Punch got blocked there. Pantoja gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent and he keeps going to that spot. Lands with the ground and pound. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. He passed the half guard. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's gonna lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it shows in that defense. Ursegs cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Three minutes now to go in this one. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, hooked him with the overhand. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Pantoja going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Oh, that's a nice strike. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Oh, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of round number 5. We play the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Alejandro.
All right, so there he is, the still UFC flyweight champion of the world. He's brought a lot of attention to this division, and a successful title defense is going to do nothing to sort